Good morning, welcome back to the AOG Paint Room. You know this is my favorite place to be. This is where I stay most of my life, it seems like. Um, but it's really fun in here. We get a lot of work done and everything pretty much turns out really good. It's still hot and sticky down here in South Georgia. Um, you can see how dirty my hat is. I've almost ruined this thing, man. And uh, But anyways, we're sweating, we're hot, it's sticky, and we're getting pretty good rain showers almost every day. So what does that mean? That means we're using a lot of lacquer thinner and a lot of the retarder to slow this drying process down because we don't want air bubbles and we don't want to have problems with blushing. Um, so anyways, if you watched my video from yesterday, this is the hood uh, after we stained it. And so um, you saw me build this thing out in real time. It took me about 45 minutes. This is a basic hood. There's nothing fancy about it. It's got a couple panels on the front with a little bit of trim and uh, it's finished out in a czar aged bourbon stain um, the czar stain is really good it's a gel stain and you can brush it on you can wipe it on with a cloth a paper towel you can finger paint with it whatever you want to do just make sure that you let it sit there and then wipe it off with a clean uh, like t-shirt material rag that way you don't have any lint or anything like that left in the stain um, finishes out perfect every time we never had a problem with it um, and it's street free is you know, you can brush it on and wipe it off and you don't have any problems with this stain at all. You, you can overlap the stain and you'll never see where you did that. Um, I've, I've actually stained part and come back the next day and stain the second part of the end of a board and overlap it just to see what it would do. And can't tell you can't tell that you did that. So if you make a mistake and don't stain enough of it, you can always come back the next day if you realize that you did that, restain it and you won't have any problems um, with overlap or anything like that. All right, so this hood is in here because we've got to put a, a clear coat on it. It's not gonna be shiny, it's gonna be a, what they call a tin sheen, so it's a matte finish, and we're gonna spray it on with our uh, Quantum, well, it's a Fuji spray system, it's the Q4 Platinum, and I can show you that right here. We've got two of them. And uh, so we got two guns, and we use one for primer and one for a finish coat. Um, and that way we just kind of, we separate our material. That way if we're spraying primer on one set and finish on another set, we don't have to keep swapping out and, and all that. So it makes it a little bit more convenient for what we're doing in here. Um, so anyways, we're going to shoot a clear coat on this. And I don't know how it's going to really turn out as far as like seeing it on the video. But this is just the next process in getting this thing ready to go. So let's see if we can get this thing shiny and turn out something beautiful. All right, there you go. So we got her all shined up. Uh, I put two coats on it, um, and they're light coats. And this this lacquer is a little bit thicker than my primer, um, so I only have to put two coats on. Sometimes we'll drift back and put three. Um, but you know, we're pretty fortunate with with the way everything is right now in the paint room with our with our weather and all. It's just really hot, and there's not a whole lot of humidity in the air. So we were able to you know spray this on just a little bit thicker. Um, but we still got the same amount of retarders, about a half a tablespoon somewhere out in there per pour. Um, and you can adjust that depending on where you are and what your climate is. Um, and our, our lacquer has, 
it's about three fourths uh, lacquer, and then it's about one fourth um, of, of lacquer thinner. Um, so we want it a little bit thin, but we don't want it as thin as our primer, um, simply because this is going to be a finished coat. And we want it to be really hard. Um, so, anyways, that's pretty much it. And so the uh, this will slide in between the cabinets right here, and this it's this part right here that's stained, and this part hitting. Um, the reason that is is because this will be uh, beside the cabinet, and this right here will be above the cabinet. So you only see from here up on the side. So we stain this side and that side the same way, um, and this will just kind of rest on top of the cabinet that's already there. Um, and that gives us a little bit of ledger, gives us a little bit of extra support, and you know, let, letting that cabinet be able to actually hang up there and the other cabinets kind of support it. We're going to have a hood under it. It's not a very big hood. It's not heavy. It's just it's a basic GE uh, standard hood, so it's nothing nothing really fancy. Um, but anyways, that's how you shoot lacquer in you know, South Georgia. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to, to subscribe to Armor of God Woodworks and stay tuned for more stuff. We'll have new content coming out all the time.